Today I'm going to show you how to use JotForm, a free tool for creating fillable forms online. We're going to take a JotForm table template for an employee referral bonus program. I'll show you how to edit it, publish it, we'll submit responses to it, and then I'll show you how you can download the results into an Excel spreadsheet. Then I'm going to show you how to take a form that was created in Microsoft Word and convert that into a JotForm so that you can manage and track it online. I have an affiliate link for JotForm in the description below this video. Be sure and sign up using that link because it helps to support this channel. I want to thank JotForm for sponsoring this video and for offering a great solution for creating and managing fillable forms online. Don't forget to watch the playlist on my channel on how to create fillable forms. And if there's a part of this video that you want to watch again later, I'll include timestamps in the description below the video so that you can jump to that part of the video. I'm going to sign into JotForm now using my Google account. And I'm using JotForm's free service. You can click on the pricing tab or on the affiliate link and see all of the different options for services that JotForm offers. When you first log into JotForm, you're going to land on My Forms. And from here, you have access to lots of different templates and features that you can take advantage of and start exploring. I'm going to show you real quick some of the form templates that are out here and available to you. So whether you work in human resources or if you're in project management or finance or education, there are templates out here for just about anything you can think of. So you never have to start from scratch. If I click here on employment forms, it brings me to a section where there are lots of different employment forms to browse through. If I click on human resource forms, it takes me to the industry specific forms and there are over 700 forms that you can scroll through and search for and find and use that you can customize and, uh, and build for yourself. I'm going to actually come up here instead of a form template, I'm going to search in the JotForm table templates. And this is because I'm looking specifically to start up a referral bonus program at my organization. I want to make it easy for employees to submit good candidates for open positions. And I want them to be able to submit these candidates to, for open positions online. And then I want to do a really good job of tracking the status of those referrals. So I'm going to search in the table templates for specifically an employee referral program. Notice we have two templates to choose from. I'm going to select this one because it looks like it has a tab for candidates and for referrers. So I'm going to select use template. Now the template comes in under my, the my tables area of jot form. So you can come out here and notice that the template contains some test data already submitted so that you can see how, how you like this. It's grouped by status. And so I like this one. I like that it has a tab for the refers as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use this table and there's a form that's linked and associated with this form. So I'm going to show you how to edit that. Come over to the form tab. It's a drop down and click on edit form. The form opens up in a window on the build tab where you can completely customize this form. If you come over here to the left, you can click add a form element and this lets you insert different form fields, sections, elements, widgets into your form. And let's say I want to retitle this. I'm going to call this instead of employee reference check form, I'm going to call this employee referral form. So all I do is select it and type over. Now let's say I want to add a form field into the form. I'm going to search for the element that I want to add and I'm going to add to this form. I want the employee to be able to fill in for the candidate they're referring. I want them to be able to fill in that candidate's current position and organization. So I'm going to come over here onto the basic form elements. I'm going to scroll down and select short text. Now I can move that element down. And I can type over the question. Now notice that I also have a couple of drop downs that are here in this form that I want to edit and customize. The first drop down is the department section. So I can click on this element and then I can click on the hyperlink that says edit options. From here, I can see the list that's pre-populated with this template and I can completely modify it. I can delete options or I can add new ones. And then I can click on the Save Changes link to save those changes. 
Once I've edited or added all of the form elements that I want to include in my form, I'm going to come up to this icon over here called the form designer. And when I click on the form designer, it opens up a panel that allows me to select different backgrounds or themes for your form so that you can brand it and you can get really creative with this section over here. I'm going to go ahead and click a little bit of a darker color theme and use that. Now the layout that we're using is the classic form and that just means that this is exactly the way that the form is going to be laid out for users as they fill it in. The card form is an option that you can use if you have more of a survey type form where if you want each question to display on a screen and have the user click next to fill in each, each section. So we're going to stick with the classic form and I'm going to come back over here and add a logo to the form. You can click on that element and upload a file from your computer. And then you can center align it and resize it. All right, I'm going to close out of the form designer properties and now we can actually preview our form. And the preview form allows us to see what it's going to look like for users, whether they have a desktop, if we click on tablet, it'll show what it looks like on a tablet. And if we have a mobile device, it'll show what the form is going to look like on the user's mobile device. Then if we want to, we can fill out the form with dummy data. So we can click that box and it automatically fills in the form fields for us with some test data and so that we can test out our form. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and click on refer to submit the response. Now I'm going to close out of the preview and then I'm going to come back over and click on the dot form icon because I want to come back to the home page of my forms. Notice because we have a linked form with the table template that we are using, it shows up in my forms as our employee reference check form. All I have to do is select that and then I can click on submissions. When I click on submissions, it'll take me back to the table template and I can expand in the in process status and I can see that the test data that I responded with is included here. So this is a great template for tracking those referrals as they come in. Now if I want to download the results into an Excel spreadsheet, all I have to do is come up to download all and select download as Excel. I'm going to open that up. And now I have an Excel spreadsheet with all of my data and results. So if I wanted to do a pivot table on any of my data or information, I have all the functionality of Excel now that I can use with the responses from my form. Now I'm going to show you how you can take an existing form that you've created in Microsoft Word and convert it into an online form in JotForm. All right, so let's go to our Word version of our form. And let's say that we have a form that is already approved at our organization. We've been using this form and we just want to make it an online form so that users have an easier time submitting to it. What we can do is take our form and we're going to save it as a PDF file type. So I'm going to go up to File and click Save a Copy. And I'm going to select from the drop down PDF and I'm going to click Save. Now this document is saved as a PDF file type. It is not a PDF fillable form, but it has saved the Word document as a PDF, and now we're going to be able to convert this into JotForms. So I'm going to come back out here to JotForm and go up to My Forms. I'm going to click on JotForm. It'll bring me back to My Forms, and I'm going to click on Create Form, and I'm going to import the form and we're going to say import PDF form. I'm going to say upload PDF form and select the file that we just saved. On the right hand side is the original PDF form that we just converted and on the left hand side is the online form that was converted over and it's on the build tab so that it's ready for us to edit and customize. Notice that we had the logo that got imported, and so I'm going to go ahead and just select those design elements and remove them. It's really quick and easy to do that. And instead, I'm going to go ahead and add my logo up here. I'm going to center it. I'm going to click back over here. I'm going to click the form designer. Choose my background theme color. Close out. 
And then I'm going to come over here to the add form element. I'm going to add a divider into this form. And I'm going to move that divider down where I want that. Now when I click on a form field, it's going to map to where it is linked on the PDF fillable form. And instead of having just an open text for department, I actually want to add a drop down. So I'm going to come back over to the add form element. And I'm going to select drop down. And I'm going to say department. Then I have the ability to edit options. And I can type my options here. Then I can click on Save Changes. Now I want to delete the original element of department as a short text field because I want it to be a drop down now. Now notice that the drop down is now linked to a form that was placed on our original PDF. And now we want to go ahead and align all of our fillable form fields that are on the PDF so that when an employee might generate this form, everything will be aligned. So I'm going to take a moment to do that. Okay, now I'm going to preview this form. I'm going to click on Start Filling, and we have the option to populate with our dummy data again for testing, so I'm going to click that button to fill in the information. We click on Start Filling, and notice that that dummy data has been populated for us. When we come down to the bottom, notice that we have Preview PDF. When we click on that button, Users have the option to click on this and download and save a copy of the form that they just completed. So that's why we wanted to align all of those form fields so that when this PDF gets generated, all of those fields are aligned and matched up. I'm going to click back to form and click submit. I'm going to turn off the preview. And we're going to go to the settings tab. The Form Settings tab is where you can add lots of additional features and elements like conditional formatting if you have if statements, like if you want a certain form field to show up based on the user's response to a previous form field, you would use the conditional logic features that they have. You have the ability to customize the thank you page and a lot of different things that you're able to do through those settings. On the Publish tab, you have an option to create the link to the survey, and you can send that out via email. You can invite attendees directly from JotForm, and send, if you have all of the emails, you can send those out. You also have the option to grab the code for this online form if you want to post the form on your website. If you want to see more videos from me on how to use all the features in JotForm, let me know by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to sign up using the affiliate link in the description below this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.